Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Starting the video off with Bird, five o'clock on Saturday afternoon, because we are about to go and see Deadpool 2. Heard some good things about this, so hopefully it's good. We're gonna go out, grab some food, chill out. I'm just gonna film the weekend because I'm vlogging as much as I can. So yeah, sit back, relax, enjoy, let's do this. Can you guess where we're going for food? Of course you can. Nando's, Nando's. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna get. You see 10 days out from this end of the cut, so we're keeping it lean. I'll show you what we get. The salad vibes. This is how it's going down then. Very tame butterfly, spicy rice, side salad. Beth has joined the cutting hype, haven't you? So, chicken salad, what are we? Two and a half weeks of holiday, so you don't give yourself you don't give yourself much time, but gonna enjoy this. Okay, so we went into Holland Barrett to pick up some cinema snacks. End up picking up these uh, optimum nutrition lean bars, 62p for a bar, so I bought the whole box. Um, just fingers crossed they're nice. Has anyone had one? Let me know what you think. No, don't piss me. They're not gonna. That last piece is great, Yo. Okay, Deadpool 2 review. Go on, Beth, hit him with a, hit him with a review. What do you think? Yeah, it was really good. It was very funny. It, it was, was better funny. than the first one, I thought. Yeah, definitely better than the first one. Out of 10? Um, an 8. I'm gonna go 8.5. Yeah, but I bet you didn't get some of the references, did you? No. No, that's why. But yeah, a very funny film. My own leg as well, isn't he? He's fit when he's not like all um, wrinkly. Wrinkly. But uh, we'll see you tomorrow because we're gonna continue the vlog. I think we're going out with a few friends tomorrow. We might be playing some mini, mini golf. golf or something. But yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. What's good, guys? Welcome to not the next day, but the day after that. Uh, yesterday I actually went to Selfie. It was a wicked day. Uh, it was a beautiful day, hence why I look like a freaking tomato. So I burnt my head, but not my cheeks, just my forehead and my shoulders. Um, yeah, we had a good day, nice long walk. Didn't actually train or do cardio, but we did 16,000 steps, that was all right. And then we had another Nando's. And I was going to film it, but it's just hot, and I was just not. Did, I did. I forgot to bring my camera anyway, so I was going to film on the iPhone. I think I've got one clip. Um, but yeah, that was a wicked day. What we have here is the holy grail of praying bars. I'm thinking. Okay, so at Body Power. I found these bars, I got addicted. I don't know why I didn't buy a box there and then. This right here is like the Rolls Royce of protein bars. For Phil, hazelnut whip, oh my God. I really want to have one now, but I've already had a protein bar. My protein bar collection is getting a bit, a bit huge. Let me show you. Grenade, white chocolate mocha. Grenade, white chocolate cookie. Grenade, cookies and cream. Maxi Muscle, blue reed smoothie. Barbell coconuts. Tesco cookies and cream. Fulfill. And many, many more. Now these are the ones that uh, we actually picked up the other day in Holland and Barrett for 60p. Had these, since had these since that last clip and they were banging, so they're good. Um, so yeah, the protein bar addiction is real. Like I said, yesterday I burnt my shoulders and back so bad that today was leg day and I couldn't squat because having weight on the back hurt. So we ended up doing deadlifts for the first time. I'm going to insert a clip now. Just hit 140 for 3x3. Form isn't the best. Deadlifts have never been a strong point for me. Do I enjoy deadlifting? Not really. Are they essential to your lifting? People say they are. People say they aren't. For me, especially this deep into a cut, Training has got to be enjoyable, so that's why I haven't really put them in recently. They take too much energy and too much pressure on your CNS um, for this deep into the cut. So yeah, I don't normally use them. So now we've only got 
obviously the cinema footage and this footage. So the thing I'm going to do, the topic of the video, is going to be about do I wish I was competing. So I need to shower and change and then I'll catch up with you upstairs. Okay, let's do it. I've managed to fit this bar in my macros. I couldn't get it today and not eat it. Oh, gosh, just look at that. Mmm. God damn, that's good. I actually just put this in the fridge because I like my bars cold. I think they last a bit longer. But that caramel on the top, so good. Right. You know what it tastes like? Ferrero Rocher. Okay, let's do this. Let's wrap up this video and let's talk about the topic of it, which is do I wish I was competing at Summer Shredding or competing in general, to be honest, because there's plenty of shows in the UK that I could probably enter if I wanted to. Um, and the answer is no. Have I beaten my physique from last year and come on leaps and bounds? Absolutely. I'm actually really surprised of the sort of the progression I've made over the course of the year and the condition that I've got myself into this year. I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, could I step on stage? To be honest, I've got no idea about posing, any UK competitions, anything like that. Is it something that interests me? Absolutely. Will I one day compete? Yes, I would like to compete and I'd like to compete next year, ideally. I need to take a bulk seriously. Last bulk was rubbish. I just put on, I didn't put on enough weight. It wasn't very good at all. I didn't put on enough muscle. Would I like to compete though in the future? Yes. At Alfleet and a summer training one, yes, because I love going to Texas. Obviously, this is actually the last video before I head to Texas. We we're actually on Friday today and we head on Tuesday. So this is going to be the last full video before we travel out to Texas. And then I'll have my transformation video coming out while I'm away out there. So, the things that I want to think about before I compete is I want to compete in a tested um, competition because I just think it's bullshit that people can crush glasses and absolutely trump your physique. When they're on steroids, I think that's absolute bullshit. So I would never go on a uh, one that's not tested. I know that this summer training this year, for instance, isn't, isn't tested, but I would have probably done that one, to be fair. Um, yeah, so... Is my body ready? Probably not. I am around six foot, just like a tiny, tiny bit under, and like as I am now, I'm 71 kilos, so I'm really, really light, which means I'm quite small, so I'd probably get absolutely dwarfed on stage if I was to compete with people. I don't really, I don't see, I don't really know how it works, so I really want to compete next year, so any tips, advice, competitions, hit me up. Next, that's the goal for 2019 step on a stage and smash out this physique i'm happy with my physique for the minute you're going to see my final physique in uh in the next video which is my uh transformation video i'm, I'm in the process of uh peak week which once again i don't really know too much about I'm trying to get advice here and there matt lee fit he helped me out with a little bit of talking about water and carb load and stuff like that but basically my physique's at a point where it should be so I'm not going to train anything, change anything too drastically. I'm just going to enjoy the process and see how it turns out. So I hope you like this video. If you have, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. If you have any advice on competing or good competitions or anything like that, please let me know down below or sign in the DMs or something. I'll catch you in the next one, which will be my transformation over the 90 days. The video after that will be Texas. So the videos, the next few videos are going to be flipping insane. Daily vlogging in Texas. Am I going to do it? I don't know. I've been thinking about it. I'm going to put a poll on my Instagram. If you want to see some daily vlogs, smash that thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments as well. I'll catch you in the next one.